Welcome to the uh, Android Netrunner League No Agendas held at Realms of Gaming. This is the first round of the store championship with Jamie Phillips and Stephanie Sullivan. I'm here with John Sullivan and I'm Bob Picker. This is the round, first round. Jamie's on the left, Stephanie on the right. We get your usual uh, Kate versus Jin Techie, so hopefully we'll see lots of damage and you know. Good stuff like that. Uh, yeah, J Jamie was uh, drove about two and a half hours to get to the championship, I think. Um, so uh, he must have been playing for a while. He got that alt art cape, which is so nice. <laughs> so Stephanie starts off with her hedge fund, followed by ice in front of R and D, and. She's looks deliberate. Like, <laughs> looks like <a> credit. Yeah. <laughs> but the yeah. joy of Jinteki. Yeah, he's, he's gonna make sure. All right, so he starts off with pro cons. I like the card. Contacts. Yeah, it's a good card. Very efficient. I don't know. I used to like it a lot more than Mr. Lee, and then uh, after playing Mr. Lee in a game deck forever, it was just fantastic. Yeah. So pro cons and a clone chip first turn for free. Using Kate's little ability there. Alright, Stephanie draws. Looks like a trick of light. What's she looking at? She got trick of light. Project June Bug. Is that Jackson Howard fourth card? Yeah. Something like Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. You got the she's looking at the June bug. Well, that's always the best part about Jinteki is that you're just basically playing this massive shell game of which one's which. And then, of course, Trick of Light makes it so where you can you can float some out there when they know they're trapped. You're like, that's fine. I'll score a three-pointer for free. Wow, so she advanced it twice and saw the gym bug and advanced it twice. Let's see what Jamie... Ooh. He's looking. Checking number of cards. And he, she's playing personal evolution too, so if it's an agenda, he's going to take damage anyway. Yeah, but well, I mean, it, you have to advance it twice because you know. I mean, he put snares down there too. Oh, and he runs it. No, oh, that'll hurt. And Jubo with two counters is four damage. Hopefully, he didn't have anything great in his hand. Yeah. Well, I guess. I think there was a mistake here because I think Stephanie doesn't count her, doesn't pay for it. Yeah, she doesn't pay the credit or two yeah two credits I think or, no it's no, not a credit three real two credits right no three real three so oh. it's two credits I think for each for yeah you gotta pay total. two credits in yeah. total well, so he counts up but I think he makes a mistake here too where is his credit pull at because he's got four money here and and he should have taken five because he drew three cards right because he started the turn with two and he drew yeah. three cards back up was that his money off to the side of his underneath his hand there? Anyway, but I think he's only got throws four, but he should not be at five. Gotcha. Oh, she's gonna do the same trick again. <laughs> See if he falls for it. That's always the good thing is you fall for one, and it's just like, well, the second one can't be can't be another one. And I, I don't see what she put down. Was it an agenda? Or? I don't know. I I don't know if it's a gender or not. All right, so she'll find out next turn. Yeah, yeah. So so installs Kate. Good old Kate. Yeah. Yeah, they, that's what everyone got for the tournament was uh, the alt art Kate for this. So that was, yeah. it was nice to have a couple extra. Well, when you handed them out, people actually started putting them in their deck. <laughs> like, can I just, I think it was Jamie Hefty that, can I put these in my deck? I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. Go for it. I mean, they replaced. They didn't add. Yeah. All right, so he's at his last click here. So he's, let's see if he's going to run it again. Nope, draws the card, takes some money. Yeah. All right. So he's not gonna risk it again. Hope we'll find out what it was. So oh. another hedge fund. So most likely it's a trap then, because or it definitely likes playing them. Because once you I mean obviously you know Jamie has decided that it's a trap. It could still be an agenda, and she could quick score uh, two by setting up another agenda in the same way. Yeah. So. And trick a light it out. 
Well, no, I mean, like, if that's an agenda and only needs one to score it, so if she does the same thing, oh, and then he misses again. it again, then yeah. he gets, she can score two in one yeah. shot. Yeah. Well, it's, there you go. There you go. Oh, All right, she's one. got two out of vast. Nothing, this, is, this is like the worst position, man. It's like, what do you want to run? Right. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, running the one token. I mean, like, I would run the one token. Right. Oh, he put the nerve agent. That's a different, that's a little different splash for <laughs> for a Kate deck. Oh, he's coming into HQ. I, I don't like nerve agent or medium or any of that against Jinteki half the time because it just seems like it's always going to be snare feel or snare snare. You know, it's just... Yeah, we'll see what happens. How many cards he got? He's got she's four. got three. He's, he's got, got four. Get one. Oh, he's, oh, he gets an agenda for one. I think... Oh, that's the um, profiteering. Ooh. Yeah, so I think it's a 3-1 profiteering. Yeah. It's always a good one to get. She oh, killed, ooh, killed an Ottman. An Ottman. Oh. To the trash. I haven't seen many people playing Ottman, but I mean, obviously it worked out well because I mean, it was so popular for so long. Yeah. And Swordsman has never just really come into its own. Yeah, yeah. Could, he's going to do it again. He's got one counter on it. Oh, he'll get the second counter. Oh, he's got two. Trick of Light and the other agenda. Ooh. And she pulls Demo Run? Yeah, it was Demo Run. Hmm. This is the odd gate deck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Nerve Agent Demo Run is, is a good way to kill the Wayland combo. So Yeah. Um, you see all the cards. You get the dim well, yeah, you demo. trash Accelerated Diagnostics or uh, Power Shutdown and... Hey, Wayland's out. Mm -hmm. Could have Counter Strike too would be nice. Yeah. Well, I bet you she wished she put the agendas down instead of the traps. Assuming they're. I mean, she could have had four agendas. Uh, Stephanie's playing the the one point ping you to death game. Oh, it's fetal AI. That's, that's See, I'd almost want him to run that and and hit it and do three to him. But he's got two points already. So. Yeah, I give him four. <clears throat> but he can't win the game with another. You know, yeah, agenda. you can't win it with another field, yeah. right? But yeah. it's it's tough. I mean, it, the best part about Genteki is getting to five. I and mean, once you're at five, you got the you have to run everything, and especially after you show them the first trick of light, they you, they have to run into the traps too. Otherwise, yeah. it's like well, brain trust court two point seven, <laughs> which is, is a good combo. All right. Yeah. Oh, he's he, he's gonna go. Yeah. Oh, there's the seer. Oh, that's what you wanted to get on the table. Yeah. You don't want to go in trash with no counters on it. Uh, yeah, almost, I think I would have put the cerebral down um, and let her let her and, run and the not, fetal. And yeah, then I worried about the fetal because I mm -hmm. mean, any of the three, I would have uh, dropped it advanced twice. Then you have effectively three traps out there, um, assuming that that one that she took a light off is a trap and is not just acting as the dummy. I think she drew shock. Shock would be okay. I'd hold shock in my hand. Shock has changed the way you, with data suckers, man. I mean, there's nothing better than throwing shocks into the trash. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's totally changed data sucker now. Now see, this is where she makes a mistake because that trap doesn't have any counters on it. So Jamie, first thing Jamie should do is run and trash that because it can't hurt him. He knows it's been it was advanced at one point. Um, it's kind of a misplay. Well, you know, and that's what's interesting. Oh, he's just going to run and go, go yeah. see what's in her hand. Well, he gets it all, so. Shock and... I think another trick of light? I don't know. He needs to pick which order he gets, wants to see him in. So, obviously, the one loses a card to shock. And... Oh, oh there's sucker. the data sucker. Oh, and it's oh, Project June Bug. Oh, again, another trap going to the trash. Of definitely holding on to that good stuff. And he'll trash the trash shot. Yeah, he'll trash yeah. If he's trying for a HQ lock. But I mean, Stephanie's in a real. She should have. I would have put Junebug down. Um, she she went. She went for the money. I mean, she tried to get some more money. It's like, yeah, you gotta make sure all your traps are set. Oh, she had eight, eight, nine credits. Yeah, yeah, but I think she went for the money last turn versus putting another card down. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, She's in a tough it. spot. I mean, like you said, Jamie's got her locked down on R&D, or uh, HQ. HQ for sure. Nowhere to go. He's going to see every card unless she can ice up. Which I think is what she's got in her hand. she got Roto Turret, it looks like, and, uh, yeah, so she puts the Roto Turret down, which will stop the runs, at least. Uh, yeah. Well, it would kill the Nerve Agent. Yeah. Which would be nice. But he's got Clone Chip, so he can Clone Chip something back in. Yeah, well, yeah, the Ottman. Yeah, and during middle run, so. All right, so there's the data sucker. Okay. Yeah, but he can't run archives unless he wants to run into shock a whole bunch of times. So, I mean, he doesn't have any free 
free ways to build it up. Um, <clears throat> so I think, I think if he runs HQ, you flip the Roto, and then he has to bring in the zero point Otman because he's not going to lose his nerve agent. Um, I assume anyway. Uh, and once he has the Otman out, he still has no. So still no good data sucker targets, so if she Look at Kate. Oh my gosh, she's got 15 on Kate. Is that 15 credits? Yeah, 15, he's, ta he's, he's uh, put 15 credits on her. Oh, Katie, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 on Katie. Uh, there's, unless, unless he hits an unlucky snare on the on the last click, though, Katie won't die against Jinteki. I mean, there's no character assassination. Yeah. Project Atlas, <laughs> fun things like that. Yeah. Yeah, she put it, that's the one thing is your resources are pretty safe unless you run, you know, into a snare or stuff like that yeah, against Jinteki, yeah. typically. Your resources are pretty safe. I mean, prof professional contacts will kill his deck, and he's pretty <laughs> safe here. Yeah. Because I mean, he's just taking a click every turn and gets a card. Okay, so he puts it in ice and then takes two money back. He's got plenty of money. He needs to get those traps out of her hand. It still needs to advance the one. I mean, yeah. Well, he's got to. He's got to know that it's not a trap now. I mean, I mean that she if she would advance it again. Well, but I mean, it's, it's also her trick of light battery. I mean, she's lost. She's down three traps. She's only gonna have three more. Two more cerebrals and a Project June bug, which that's probably yeah. one of them. Um, if she's gonna be able to trick a light off any of them, you know, you need to build that back up. Oh, he took it there. He's taking Kate or Katie. Yeah, he's got R. He got is an R and D interface. Yeah, it's R&D interface. Yeah. Which I don't know. I mean, against Jinteki, that's like, yeah, press your luck. <laughs> right. Oh, why did he make her die? <laughs> this could be bad. Okay, it could be over now. I mean, it's not, but... Um, this could be really bad. She get, but I mean, he doesn't have no icebreakers, so... I, you but he's got the clone chip, so yeah. he can always bring something back. Oh, yeah. oh it's Neural Katana. So she rises the Neural. Yep, and here comes Otman. Yeah, here comes Otman at three. Well, and she's... See, actually, this is going to be... Awesome if he if he res it if he gets Otman out now he has to bring Otman up because he doesn't have data sucker tokens and that's gonna make that roto turret just amazing because you can't push I mean you can't push Otman down so yeah I mean unless he has no one with hand but yeah um, so brings that out spends another what another six it's three for Otman three for the the uh, tokens yeah so it's six off the clone ship so you're gonna break it three cards. Which could be... I mean, she's no, back. four cards, because he's got the interface. Right. So he's going to see four cards, which is... Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I yeah. don't want to see four cards ever from Jinteki. <laughs> run into any snares. There's still two more shocks. Fetal AIs, which I think... That is. Is that Fetal AI? Yeah, it's Fetal AI. So there's three There's three right there. Yep. So This could be three. game over. This could be game over. Um... What's he got? Back? He gives you a full, full, full hand of cards. So he's paid the two to steal it. Yeah. Well, he's going to take three for the, the agenda and the... So he's got one left. Ooh. Ooh. And he's got to see three more cards, John. He's got to see three more. I mean, two agendas and he dies still. No, that's an ice, it looks like. Uh, no idea. I think he's, it must be something he can trash because he's deciding to trash it or not. No, it's an. I think it's an agenda. So he's oh. only got one card in his hand. But he has to take it though. He's got to take it. Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't not take. I it. think he. Yeah, I think he asked whether or not he if has he had. Yeah, he has to take it. Yeah. Yeah. And and. But if, he, if he got an agenda, then he would have stole it and would have won the game. No, because he doesn't have. He's only got one pointers. I don't think he got a brain trust, did he? He got one fetal. Two more. To, to, for the profit tearing. Yeah, yeah. You got, and then you the profit tearing. Uh, the, uh, and that uh, one he just stole there. He only, got, he only has four points, four, right? So he would have had five. Yeah, yeah he had five and died. Yeah. Five and died. <laughs> five and died. <laughs> so like a five and dime, only, you know, more painful. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a little video skip. Yeah, I think uh, you'll see there's only so much buffer in my camera and it starts a new file. So. Oh, okay. So we didn't actually lose. We didn't lose anything. It just... It just Okay. Cuts in. Well, that's good. That's just a little jump. Um, looks like there's a ooh. there's an agenda in her hand. It looks like another veterans yeah. the veterans program. The new, new one three get rid of two bad that publicity. Fun. Yeah. That almost put it down and advanced it twice. 
Just because. Because that one won't win him the game, but one won't win him the game, and you know he's gonna wait. I mean, he he can't. He doesn't have any cards in his hand. Right. So there's no way he could run it because it could be Project Junebug. Or if it's Fetal, he's dead. Yeah. Project <laughs> June, if you drop it in advance of twice, it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be four damage Junebug. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would have I would have definitely thrown it down there. That was, that was a free point she could have got. Unless he you know wasn't considering and just ran it anyway. So he draws up again. Well, yeah, you have to draw cards. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those moments where you're like, wow, I wish I had an early MP. Oh, yeah. She would have won the game. I mean, that's the, that's the <laughs> one time. But nobody uses that card, right, John? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to win one out of, you know, 50 games because of it. And the other times it's just going to be like, hey, take a damage. And they're going to be like, okay. You know what's funny? Is that's an operation, right? Uh, yeah. So, I'm surprised that someone hasn't thrown that in with Accelerate Diagnostic just as a combo to say. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she can get on top. You get a three damage then? Boom! <laughs> as opposed to doing, you know, like, uh, 12 with Scorched Earth. Money's not been a problem for Jamie. He's just, he's just bagging the money over there. Well, yeah, that's usually how it is with Katie. I mean, he doesn't have Magnum, yeah. Going with Katie instead yeah. of Magnum. But, I mean, if she dropped a Roto in front of that, that Katana, she should be safe for... I don't know what ice she drew. Um, the chum would even be okay. Because mm. you couldn't break the chum, and then that would push Neural up to five, and you'd at least burn. I, mean, where I, think, he, I think he forgot the token. He forgot, okay. he forgot to put the token on there, so he put the token on Data Sucker yeah, for sure. when he ran the. Yeah, and that runner community is fairly good about that. Was, oh, I missed this. Yeah, that's fine. It's right on there. I mean, yeah. Especially when you don't pay for a June bug. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, but I, I don't think that would have hurt Stephanie necessarily because I think she always had too yeah. much money. Yeah, there's only one. Oh yeah, oh for sure. Yeah, you, half a tape of the June bug. Yeah, you you get with Genteki, you're always poor anyway. I mean, there's it's, it's hard to. I don't know. I mean, they've been doing okay getting money recently. All right, so she so. installed again. See, I think she should have did this last turn. And what is this? Is, I don't know. Is it the agenda or is it a trap? I mean, he's got the cards. He's got. Oh, she's only got two points, though. Maybe she's trying to sneak something through her, because, I mean, after he's... But he's got a handful of cards, so you missed your opportunity. I mean, this is... But, I mean, he could be thinking, thinking the same thing, like, oh, maybe she drew the trap. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what happens. He's, he's, he's been through this before, though. He's counting the cards again. <laughs> I think if I have a handful of cards and, like, I don't have an Otman or a clone ship in there, I would probably run it. Because, I mean, they have to be really good cards at this point to not uh, eat the four damage of a June bug. Because she's only got one left. Yeah. There's only one June bug left and two Cerebral. And you're 90% sure one of them is the card next to that one advanced card. So I think you you got to run it. Because one point is just, it's helpful. You can rebuild from it. Hmm. I mean, at the same time, giving her her third agenda point isn't, you know, not gonna a lot. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not... It's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna help her that much. Well, he could potentially win you the game. If yeah. it's a two-point agenda, he wins right here. Yeah, but oh, there, oh, it, is. there it is. And it's a, oh, it's brain trust. She tried to sneak brain trust across. I think that's the game. Yeah. Uh, two four. Yep. That was, that's seven. Seven. That's seven. Yep. It's Good seven. game. Oh. There it is. I would not have. I would have not have tried to sneak across the game point. Yeah. Um, you gotta put down a one. Wow, look at that. With one Otman that could only break yeah. Neural Katana. Yep. Couldn't break that Roto in front of HQ. Yeah. We could break a pop up window. Um, yeah. could, could have, that could have been Swordsman in front of. Yep. So if she had drawn a Swordsman, that would have been perfect. <laughs> so. Well, welcome back. This is game two of uh, Jamie versus Stephanie. Uh, first round of the uh, Source Championship. So. Uh, a little different here because it's going to be uh, Stephanie's going to be playing her kit deck. I think she's the only one running kit, and then uh, Jamie's playing his uh, ETF. Yeah. Has Byroid. Yeah, for the for the percentage of, of the team that fielded uh, Gabe Whalen, um, this would be a match that didn't have either on either <laughs> side. So it'll be refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what the, I think I think we had 50% peop, of the people, 53% playing Whalen that day. Something like that, yeah. The similar percentage of uh, Gabe. Um, so we get... Yeah, I don't think we saw an Andromeda, did we? No. 
Sweep Sweep, I think, kills Andromeda. But so first turn we get Hedge Fund, uh, guarding HB or HQ. HB is guarding HB. No, HB is guarding HQ. Nothing. You got to throw something on R&D. No, oh, and we restructure. Oh, restructure, okay. Gotcha. I want money. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, it's Kate, or uh, Kit. I mean, he, she could have indexing. She could she could make her eye. I mean, this could be, you know, end the game on the first turn kind of thing here. Let's see what she does. She sure gambles. Okay, well, you know. Hey, I mean, she doesn't have the cards in her hand. She doesn't have the cards in her hand, so. I think that's one of the cards you're looking for in a mulligan hand, is a sure gamble. I mean, I think, I, I mean... Most players I watch, I mean, typically, if they don't have Sure Gambler, they're going to put it in the, in the trash and reshuffle, I think. Well, yeah, Sure Gambler, I mean, it, it's definitely important for that start. And I think with Kit, though, you're more looking for that code gate. Yeah. I mean, you want your Cyber Cypher. And... Oh, there is, I see one in her hand. Okay, uh, Cyber Cypher? Yeah, she's got, yeah, look. Right oh, there. Okay, yeah, she's got self modifying code. No, nope, that's a toolbox. She's got toolbox, Cyber Cypher, test run, money. Oh, what's her last card? I can't see it. Um, no, yeah, that's a phenomenal starting hand. I just... I mean, I'd throw Cyber Cypher down here and no. just... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, w I would wait till he... Oh, yeah, okay. you're going to hit RB. There we go. All right, there we go. Hit the agenda once. See, that was actually should have been her her very first click against HP should have been... Because she's not going to lose money, so she can play the short gamble for yeah, sure. Yeah, and I mean, on the awful chance that, you know, there are four agendas sitting on top, and hey, or, you know, trashables or whatever. Did she just oh. take another credit? Oh, yeah, there's ten credits there, so she got nine. She took a credit on her first click. I would have ran. I would have. I would have forced him to read that eye on HP on on, uh, the, on on the HQ. No, I wouldn't. It could be uh, Fenris running into a first turn Fenris. It just sucks. You don't want to have <laughs> did that. Did you do that during the yeah, tournament? Yeah, not during the tournament, but I. Uh, who does it? Someone I did that. I was like, oh, it's HP. I have extra clicks to get. Oh, Fenris brain damage. Yeah, kind of set you back a little bit, huh? Yeah. Well, now she's got the, he got the two ice, and I'm sure Jamie's playing smart, so that that back ice is not going to be a code gate. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the worst thing you can do is put a code gate down first, and then put something in yeah. front of it with with Kit. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I I would say I would drop the cyber cipher and start in into R and D. Yeah. Because and then he reses the first ice, you you break the parts that hurt, and you jack out. Unless the first ice is really expensive, and then you can keep going, but. Yeah, he's got plenty of money to res whatever he wants, but you got to get that money out of him. You got to get the money. He can't sit on that money. You got to yeah. make force him to res some ice. I mean, I think Kit does a real good job running. Um, you know, almost rigless. I mean, you're just kind of powering through uh, with your basically your cyber cipher beating up R and D, and then eventually you'll get the um, fam or the omega. And, uh, you can you just you basically go wherever you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, with the introduction of the Alpha Omega, I mean, that suite right there, I mean, you put Torch in her hand and yeah. you can break almost anything you want. Well, you don't need Alpha with Torch, but um, I think Kate, Kate going Alpha Omega with, like, you know, like Dinosaurus mm -hmm. uh, on one of them. Because they're not AIs, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both, they're both AIs. They, oh, so they're both artificial intelligence. Yeah. You can't dinosaur them. You can't dinosaur them. That sucks. So she just took money again. She didn't. You can't. I mean, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta force him to rest some ice here. Yeah. You can't let HB sit back with bunches of money. I mean, like you said, the worst thing you run into is Fenris. But I mean, you take that chance. You throw oh, yeah. your Kate Coda gate down well, and you run. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, Cyber Cipher makes it a safe run, mm -hmm. and it's it's forcing him to waste money. And um, oh, he, oh, there's a new card. Yeah, he's subliminal. playing subliminal. It's it's a fun little one of that basically ends up giving you, you know, a free credit and a um, and a free click back, right? No, because well, you get the click back yeah. for it, but yeah. it just it ends up being a free credit yeah. so long as the or the runner didn't run. I think it is. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's just. Oh, I, oh, I see an R and D. She's got an R and D interface. Yeah. So I mean, you throw R and D down, and you have. Oh sure, it'd be great. I mean, you're gonna get, the, you're gonna force him to res some ice. She plays play. Magnum though. Well, the last she, thing she needs is money though, really. She she generally wants lots of money. Hey, I agree. It, it's, it's just a need to be aggressive and um, throwing the cyber cyber down because I mean it's probably a fast advanced deck. I mean we haven't seen Biotic Labor, but 
I mean, that's the best kind of HP deck I think at the moment is your, your fast advance. Uh, ETF. Well, it's either that or big ice, and you can't break. Yeah, you know, the, uh, the toll booth, uh, you know, the big um, Bioroid. Yeah, some Wotan. Yeah, throw With, a Wotan uh, in there, or uh, a couple Heimdall 2s. You yeah, know, the Bioroid efficiency stuff, mm -hmm. things like that, yeah. But see, you know, he's got, he's just got a lot of money. Okay, now you put the remote in. Right. So, maybe she'll put the cyber, thinking that that's how she'll get to the, you know, if he puts anything in there, it's going to be able to be broken. True, but he's got a lot of money, and I mean she's got some money, and she got Magnum, so she can she can ramp up the money. I just think she, there needs to be more pressure. Oh, there's the oh, there's there's restructure. restructure. <laughs> Great, let's loot on Janice, whatever he wants. And, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing like four brain damage. Yeah, she really needs a she needs a Gordian, um, as much as I don't think she has one in her deck actually. Um, but yeah, Gordian would be just. It'd be great because you could hit you could hit HQ one turn, you could hit R and D the next, and he's just he's not gonna have money, or or he's gonna let you in. I mean, okay, he yeah. lets you in, he lets you in, and you get the good stuff. But if he had to rev both those pieces of ice over R and D, she doesn't have that money. He might not be able to play that restructure. True. I yeah. mean, that's I mean, it slow him down. For I sure. mean, you you definitely gotta make you gotta force the corp to res ice. You have to. I mean, sometimes. Looks like he's got, you know, two, three ice in his hand. Oh, there's agendas in the middle there? Uh, the, oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the, um... The beta. The beta test. Beta test, and... I don't know what the one in the it's middle like, is. There's another piece of ice in But yeah, it definitely has an accelerated beta test. Unfortunately, that second layer of ice is gonna... Yeah, it shows how the breakers... Oh, now, so he installs that in. He's gonna go out and score this. I'm gonna draw a card. Now, you always say drawing a card the last turn is the worst thing you can do, right? Or the last sure, card. because, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you're planning to draw a card, if you're like, all right, I'm going to install this card and draw a card, you should always draw the card first. Because if that card you draw is better than what you're going to install, then you can install it. If it's not, you've not lost anything by choosing to install first. Yeah. Um, she trashes the R&D interface, John. Can you believe this? I I don't know what the other five cards in her hand are, but... Oh, she forgot to do this last turn. Oh, okay. She but she work. throws away an R&D interface. I mean, that's her that's her way to get to the game, right? Yeah, it's coming down with the toolbox. Oh, she throw the toolbox in, which is always helpful. Yeah. But it's just, so expensive to get out. It's worth it in the end. I mean, it's, you're going to be able to do a lot with it. And I know she's running... I know she's running Omega, Data Suckers, and Parasites. Um, she's trying to, to basically be able to make it so that you need three pieces of ice to defend against her runs, and uh, killing that middle piece of ice just makes servers wide open. It's, but unfortunately, I think she's given Jamie a little bit too much time to set up. Yeah, and that much money. Yeah. There's just no way. I mean, so here comes the the shiny card, blocked by the light. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like she picked a server with it, so... Or no, yep. She yeah, there it is. There. So that's the cyber, that's the cyber cipher. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's cyber cipher. So she links it up to R&D, all right? So she's, now she's trying to start to do some work. But she threw away the R&D, which is what was critical to get some real work done. Yeah, getting that, that R&D locked down would be, would have been just, would have been very helpful. And then we, we get the run. I think we get the run. Yeah, she's running it. And there, there's the actual run. Mm -hmm. um, he puts her through the first one. Yeah, he's checking. I think he's checking to see if he can run the first one. Oh, there it is. What is it? Ooh, it's a um, it's the Victor 2.0. Gotcha. Victor, Victor. And Victor's a code gate, isn't he? It's a code gate. Yeah. yeah. Code gate five res. It does. It gives you a host power counter that can do brain damage. So she's gonna pay her two toll booth, to tool box credits, a couple more, and break that, and then make a run and stop the run. You have to stop the run because there's no way that second card is a code gate. She's um, looking at her clicks like she's going to click through it for two because I think it's only one subroutine that you, you that you have to pass. So uh, you, you can potentially click through it with two. That could be a Victor 1.0 then, wouldn't it? No, because Victor 1.0 has the two subroutines but it's oh. got one for each click, so. No, she paid No, she it. paid it. Okay, she paid it. I don't see how much she paid though. She doesn't oh, have but she has to bump it by one. I think she has to bump Cyber Cipher by one to yeah, get but, to the strength. Um, I don't. It means like she doesn't have credits on her toolbox, so mm -hmm. I don't know if she 
Maybe she's just remembering them in her head. Um, but at least he made him spend some money. Uh, hey, like, he got... I mean, that's like, okay, I'm going to hit your uh, Swiss bank account and take a dollar out. <laughs> um, oh, Gets two more money, though. Yeah, I... I mean, I think I... I you have to dig for more pieces. Um, mm -hmm. there's, there's no... There's no self mod. I mean, she had self-modifying code in her hand earlier, didn't she? Mm. Uh, I thought she had... I think that's the first card in her hand, isn't it? Yeah. Or no, no, that's the test run. Yeah, the test run. So she could go test run anything she wants out of it. Oh, well, yeah, I would. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure she's got a torch. Yeah. Uh, I think I would. I would test run torch. Yeah, because that's four. Is it four or five strength? Uh, four. Torch is four strength. Yeah, so I mean, it, it breaks it. Yeah, she's got magna, magna. It would do it good. Um, but well, now she would need the alpha or the omega. Would be nice here, because then, because then you could break that first piece of ice for sure. Actually, the innermost, which is what Al omega. Omega. Yeah. omega. She's got. She doesn't have alpha in her deck, because yeah. because it's based on uh, the first ice becoming code gate. Yeah. Which, so, you, so you put <laughs> omega in to make sure you get through all the inner. Yeah, ice. like I said, you'll always break the outer mm -hmm. and the inner piece of ice with Kit's power, and then uh, the data suckers and parasites will destroy the middle pieces and. You know, it, it gets rough putting down, you know, three pieces of ice where only the middle one can actually hurt a person. Well, here comes the, here comes the parasite. parasite, yeah. Now, see, that's, that's fantastic. Um, it'll, I mean, it's going to be five turns without a data sucker, but, hey, at least it's, it's getting it down. <clears throat> and she's actually ahead still. She's got three on him. He hasn't scored anything yet. He's got two advancements on the, on the install there. Yeah. Oh, oh, and she's going to take her the other one. Why not? It'll give her a free run in. Be great if she's got a maker's eye. We get we get a maker's eye on this. Just one click, click, click. She's got one more click. She's just she's just running. Still a good plan. Um, don't know what the card is. He's not. I don't. I, I wouldn't. Run Would you out. res this here? No, it's Tinker. Well, unless she doesn't know. Well, she's only got two credits. So. Well, she got the toolbox too. Remember. She does, but I don't, I mean, if she just spent the three there, she, she's forgetting about the two credits, unfortunately. Here comes... Ooh, Kadoosh. Oh, <laughs> that just uh, ruined the day. Nope, she's got two credits to break Kadoosh. Okay. All right. I would not have rezzed Kadoosh. Um, the two credits are just not worth giving it away. And it's a piece of ice. Because it's such a good end of, end of run. Oh, an Eli. Ice. Uh, uh, Eli, yeah. I, I just wouldn't give it away, because now, I mean... Now she knows what she needs? Yeah, if she wants to crush R&D, she's going to test run... Uh, I would test run the Femme. She's got a Femme in there. I would test run Femme. And Caduceus. And throw, Caduceus. We'll throw the Femme on that uh, the inner ice on the remote. And uh, that way it makes it much easier to get into the remote. And still beat up R&D uh, consistently. I mean, she's she, in a good position. Uh, I think I do think Rosing Caduceus was a mistake. But we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, especially since oh. I was tinkered. Well, see, now, now... This is perfect for her, right? But it, she's got to wait five turns for it. Yeah, unless she pulls Data Sucker. But I, I do disagree with dropping that third piece of ice. I mean... Would you just replace it, you think? No, I wouldn't replace. Because it still costs her credit to get into. But the problem is, is that I... Oh, there's his first score. No, and he's got a counter on Vitruvius. Project Vitruvius with a counter. Oh, because he had two on it. Yeah. So it, here comes Restructure again, maybe. Yep. Here it comes. Yep. <laughs> He's looking for it. Come back later. <laughs> He's like, let me go look, see if I could get more money, because I, because I'm a little poor now. Yeah, but right now that ice is definitely uh, an investment. That third one, because it's it's basically a worthless piece of ice, uh, due to the cyber cipher and it being the first piece. She just well now she doesn't have to pay to up the link of the cyber cipher now too, because it's one 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 less uh, strength. Because Victor right, yep, yeah, Victor going down one yep. makes it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with the toolbox she gets in there for free. Yeah. Um, Test run would be great right now. Self modifying code. Uh, but I don't think she got the memory for self modifying code because then she'd have yeah, to wait. Got, she's got the toolbox. She's only oh, got, yeah, that's right. She's, she's got, got four at the moment, so self would be six. Mm -hmm. She could she self modifying code into uh, a femme. Into a femme. Um, yeah, I, I think since he gave away Caduceus, uh, he didn't gain anything from it. Sure, it cost her two credits, but it cost him three credits. Yeah. Um, well, didn't he get the two credits back? On the on the first subroutine? No, because no, she, 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 she broke, broke it. it. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, so yeah. it's three, yeah. Like yeah. I said, he paid three, she paid two. Oh, he did subliminal messaging. That's the first time I've seen that all. 
played, so he went out and got some football. Well, yeah, because she, cause she, she didn't run. I mean, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, th I think right now she, just, she needs to focus on, on pinning R&D down. I mean, he doesn't have... It's unlikely that he's got five points of agendas in his hand, counting the card he put down. So I think you get the R&D lock, you focus all of his resources there. I think he's got a ton of actually in his hand. I think really? the agendas. Yeah, I think he's got at least two in there. Maybe put one down, but he had two last last turn. Ooh, what's he gonna do out there? I, I, so that you think that's a, Jackson? Could be Adonis or Jackson or. Um, I mean, it's not a trap. It's not a. I mean, he could have snare. Maybe he's got snare. I ran into a random snare in an NBN deck and died. Well, I could see. It. I, I mean, I wouldn't call that random necessarily, but yeah, it's, it's unusual. Yeah, there, in an NBN deck that you know, that's all it did. Was that the only one he had? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I'm just like it's not. Yeah, you know, yeah, I only had two cards in my hand. It was awful. Just awful. That might actually have been a game we recorded, but. Is that a toll booth that he grabs? Yeah, yeah. I think I lost a little bit of thing. I oh. think, I think uh, we missed a little run here because the camera died. But gotcha. We, we'll get the end of the game here. But yeah, I think he was able to res a toll booth because he's down to only like um, five money or four money or something like that now. Gotcha. I'll even. Uh, yeah. But he's got he's got toll what, booth. What'd she bring out? Oh, there's she got she brought out fem. Yeah, what did she, she fem? It. Oh, she fem. Oh. It looks like she femmed the first piece of ice yeah, in R&D. Yeah, she did fem that. Okay, I can see maybe the logic behind it in that once you kill that Ichi, if that's not a code gate, he's, he was probably planning to drop another piece of ice out there to activate that. Yeah. So maybe... Uh, I would it could be another toll booth, which would be perfect, right? Yeah, that, that would be... That would yeah, be there perfect. she goes. She's going to run. She's going to run. Yeah, he's not going to res it. There's he doesn't have the money to. If it's a toll booth, he doesn't have the money. Yeah, well... I wouldn't rent it no matter what it was, unless it's like pop-up window, because you just the the credit ratio isn't worth the loss. I think she's I think she's freaking her tool, toolbox still. But you want to see one card? Mm, nothing. I don't know what it was, but no, oh, it's a uh, Eve. Uh, yeah, I don't trash Eve. Exactly. Yeah, she's like gotta keep it. Yeah. It's late. It's late in the game. Well, that and and you want you want the. Uh, I think this is it. He's got he's got priority right there. Three it? pointer, yeah. Oh, game. Unfortunately, oh, Jamie starts out strong for for prestige. So, um, but Hopefully. we'll see him a little later. I'm sure. I'm, <laughs> I think he's, he I think he gets to the final. So we'll see him in the final. But uh, that's the first video. First time we've done this. So it was fun. <laughs> we'll see how. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.